All right, so we're back putting the 912 engine back together, and again, I have my audio die on me. So I've got my helper here, and I have Loctite 574 spread on the uh, mating surfaces of the crankcase because there's no gasket between the two halves. So at first, since all lifters are going to fall out, we tried folding up some cardboard and holding that in there, get it close enough where the uh, lifters would not be able to come out of the bores. Anyway, so that was a bust. So, uh, well heck, I have a tiltable engine stand. Why don't we just crank it over? So I cranked it over to the side, give us a little, a little better chance, and then uh, had him hold the rods up and put the missing lifters back in the case. And we were able to hold the rods up here and uh, guide it on. It's, it's kind of hard because the studs are so long. I mean, they're as long as the rods practically. So we lined everything up. Plus there's assembly loot every, everywhere, so it's a little bit slippery. So we were able to uh, get the get the studs lined up and wait for it. Okay, we're closed. Now we got to hold the rods from through the bores. And then uh, more lifters falling out. So anyway, we were able to uh, get the lifters all back in there, get them held in, and then it dropped right on. Alright. Okay, so I bought another gasket set for Mr. Rhines. This is the uh, bottom end set, or the base engine set. has all the, uh, anything you need for the, to split the bottom end. Has um, the front pieces, has all the O rings, has the front and rear um, seals, all the stuff you're going to need. So um, I need to pull out the O rings because around the uh, studs that go through the crankcase that hold the two pieces together, there are beveled washers and there are O rings that go in there, and that's the beveled washer right there. O-ring fits down in there and it goes down and holds the washer against the case and that is what keeps the oil inside where it belongs or, or where it's supposed to. So I'm going to get all them sorted out and then we'll start putting all that together. Alright, so the um, this one bolt in the middle of the crankcase is actually a bolt and it goes all the way through and has a washer and an o-ring on the side and then on this side is one of the rings and then one of the beveled washers and that's what um seals that thing i'm going to put i've already installed the o-rings on all full case studs so put a little oil on them just so it doesn't rip it when um when you put the washer on and tighten it so i'll get those on there and then the washer put the concave part down and then this acorn nut goes on there and all the studs sticking on this side have the same deal have the concave washer and the acorn nut and then you um, torque them down and here in just a second I think in this clip yeah somehow one was missing or I lost it or I wasn't on there to begin with or it was the wrong kind so I actually found one and took it to at work and put it in the lathe and made my own alright let's try that with some audio I put all the bevel washers on they're the blue o-rings from the kit um, I just barely pulled this down so let's make sure we still turn Make sure our dowel mark's still lined up. We'll go down a little more. And 
this bowl goes all the way through. Anyway, since I recorded that last little section with no audio, I put a, a dab of uh, oil on all the O-rings just to keep them lubricated so they didn't tear. That head was 15 millimeters. Might have been a 17. Of course, it figures when I was doing this, checking the bearing clearances, it held. So now we're um, torquing again with a torque wrench. The uh, specs in the book are for the center through bolt to be 29 pound feet. Um, the ones on the the rest of the large, like I guess they're like M10, they are 20 pound feet, and then the remaining ones around the outside are 22. Um, so anyway, just a torque sequence, work your way from the middle out. And there you go. Got the case put together, at least the uh, two pieces of the case put together.